coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo is postponed. Volt Aero Casio Aircraft begins flight testing. And the first pilot graduates from American Airlines Cadet Academy. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. The Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo has been postponed to May 5th through the 10th due to the coronavirus. Sun and Fun released an official statement on their Facebook page stating, Sun and Fun and the Aerospace Center for Excellence are deeply concerned with the developing crisis with COVID-19 and understand our responsibility to help fight against the spread of disease. Our first priority will always be the health, safety, and well-being of our patrons, partners, staff, and volunteers. With the full support of Polk County, the City of Lakeland, Lakeland Linder International Airport, and the FAA. At this time, we're planning to postpone the 2020 Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo until May 5th through the 10th. We appreciate the unwavering support of our airport, our community, and our airshow family. And we hope everyone will make plans to join us here this May. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Longview Aviation Services Viking CL-415 EAF Enhanced Aerial Firefighter has taken its inaugural flight at Cascade Aerospace's facility in Abbotsford, British Columbia. This is the first Canadair CL-215 to undergo the major modification to CL-415 EAF configuration. This initial CL-415 EAF is the first of six amphibious aerial firefighters ordered by Bridger Aerospace Group and is scheduled to be delivered next month in advance of the start of the 2020 North American wildfire season. Axiom Space is planning history's first fully private human spaceflight mission to the International Space Station. Axiom signed a contract with SpaceX for a Crew Dragon flight, which will transport a commander professionally trained by Axiom alongside three private astronauts to and from the ISS. The mission, set to launch the second half of 2021, will allow the crew to live aboard the ISS and experience at least eight days of microgravity and views of Earth. Affirming the urgent need to reduce the risk of coronavirus spreading by air transport, the ICO Council adopted a special declaration on COVID-19 during the fourth meeting of their 219th session. The Council recalled Articles 14 and 44 of the Convention on International Civil Aviation and stressed the importance of ensuring response actions are based on facts, engaging in a cross-sector of collaboration among all entities involved in action against this public health emergency, and providing reliable and and timely information to aviation authorities, airlines, and the public. The Council will continue to monitor the situation closely, ready to take action as needed, and support member states in their response measures. The FAA issued an emergency order revoking the operating certificate of Paradigm Air Operations of Dallas, Texas, for allegedly conducting dozens of unauthorized charter flights using unqualified pilots and when it lacked required air carrier management and safety personnel. Under its FAA-issued operating certificate, Paradigm is allowed to conduct non-common carriage and private carriage operations, which the FAA considers providing air transportation services for one or several selected customers generally on a long-term basis. We'll be right back with the rest of the news.
Vault Aero has begun flight testing its family of Casio E aircraft using Saffron Electrical and Power's ingenious Smart Electric motors. This testing is keeping the company on track and evolving a family of airplanes with four to nine seats, tailored for operations by private owners air taxi companies, and commercial flights for point-to-point -point regional travel, and in various utility category applications. The current flight evaluations utilize Volt Aero's Casio 1 testbed aircraft, with the two ingenious 45 electric motors installed in forward-facing positions on the wings. In its full-up 9-seat version, the Casio aircraft will utilize electric motors along with Volt Aero's proprietary aft-facing hybrid power module, which brings together an internal combustion engine and three electric motors. The prototype Volt Aero hybrid power module continues its validation on a ground-based rig preparing for a subsequent integration on the Casio 1 testbed aircraft. Among the 24 pilots who were hired by Envoy Air earlier this week was Keith Taylor, who is the first graduate of American Airlines Cadet Academy. American established the academy to provide a consistent supply of qualified pilots for the carrier in light of the looming pilot shortage predicted by the industry in the coming years. The Academy says prospective pilots with little or no flight experience can now begin their career track without the complexity and uncertainty traditionally associated with flight training. In the American Airlines Cadet Academy, pilot candidates train with one of the airline's selected flight schools and are paired with an American Airlines pilot mentor to walk them through the program. The airline has also established Discover Student Loans as a dedicated program lender, so the financial aspect of the training is simplified. On completion of the program, American guarantees an interview with one of its three wholly owned regional carriers, Envoy, PSA, and Piedmont, though it does not guarantee a job with one of those airlines. And that wraps up our week, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. To stay up to date on the latest aviation and aerospace news this weekend, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you Monday.